Hi, my name is Dimitri. I'm a man who only uses Notion so he can call himself a Notion consultant. Is that true? Is it? I don't know. I was so knee deep in making a new Notion workspace this week that I didn't notice that they made a bunch of updates. So I'm gonna talk about that because it makes me feel better about the fact that I only use Notion. I don't have a problem. You have a problem. I don't have, do I have a problem Notion? Yeah, it's pretty bad, man. Okay, let's see this update, it's pretty dope. So when you try to select text in Notion and do it between blocks, it's not a good look. If I take this and even have it right next to each other, it just selects the whole thing. And unfortunately, only half of the user base gets to see this functionality and I'm getting to see it right now on my phone, so I will show you the difference in this new update. So beforehand, you were only able to do what you just saw, but now as you'll see on the phone update and soon to the rest of the community, you can select between different blocks. So if I make it more clear and put a space between these two, you'll see that on my phone, it's selected between different blocks. And you'll actually be able to take this and do whatever you want to those specific blocks you're selecting regarding doing anything like underlining, bolding, striking through, and changing the color. That's a really great update that Notion just added. And I wanted to call that out to you guys because not all of the user base is going to see it. And I noticed it on my phone while I was working on there rather than on my computer because it's not rolled out to me yet there. So another really cool update that Notion brought to us is that if you have a database that has different pages like this and something like a gallery view, we can actually scroll through the different pages by pressing this rather than having to click out, select the <laughs> rigatoni with beef, and then you can do that. But if I wanted to get out of there, then I'd have to select cheddar bean burritos. But now I can just literally scroll through all these recipes like this. And that's a much simpler and easy process than clicking out, clicking in, clicking out, clicking in. So actually another really cool feature in Notion is that now you can actually go to your settings and members section, press my notifications and settings, change it to top page and sidebar. And I can actually get this top thing in the view to be what my first thing is when I open up Notion. So I actually have a new workspace that I'm gonna be throwing out there soon. So if I exit out of this, so after exiting out of Notion, if I go to notion.so, you'll see that the first page that I'm gonna get is this TPP hub, AKA the Evergreen Notion workspace. More on that coming soon. If you wanna check out any of my Notion templates, go to riseproductive.com slash Notion templates, and I will see you after you watch this video about how to improve your Notion even more.